Libra Scorpio to your bonus spiritual reading. This is for spiritual growth and inner wisdom. Okay, welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Yes, Libra Scorpio, I had this crazy sound in my head this morning. I knew it was my spirit guide anyways, but all I heard was do spiritual cusp readings. <laughs> of course, at that time, I didn't give it any thought, right? I got up and got my coffee, and <clears throat> as I'm sitting down doing my coffee and getting all my cards ready and doing everything, I was like, spiritual readings for cuspers. It's a great idea. So, in the midst of doing that, you popped up, so you were one of the lucky ones to be getting a bonus reading. How fun is that? So, okay, guys, let's get into this. Okay, we are using the Sacred Rebels deck for those of you who watch the, just the regular readings. Um, you already know how this works. Uh, those of you who are new and never watched this before, um, we're, this is a three card spread and it's more of a message than really a reading. So, okay, digging deep into that spiritual growth and getting some inner knowledge. Okay, so here we go. Scorpio. Oh, there it goes. That didn't take long. Spirits all over you this morning. You're like, yep, I picked them for a reason. Okay. We have She Feels She Knows. Release the dark wound, let love live. And in the world, not of the world. Whoa, okay. That's a beautiful picture. What a beautiful card that is. Okay. Beautiful water. A lot of water going on over here, you guys. A lot of water. Okay. And then some air. Look at that. Got the peacock going. A lot of... And beautiful cards for you, uh, Libra Scorpio. Got the air and the water going. Okay. Let's get into this. Um, I don't have all these cards memorized just yet because I don't do them that often. So we are using the Sacred Rebels book. Okay. So... Having my page marked here, it says, she feels she knows this is guidance for the new life and creative awakening happening for you at this moment. Okay, so going straight to 22. Let's find 22. Okay, it says, this card says, this oracle comes to you with guidance, particularly about long range or long term developments. Something that is far bigger than the immediate situation, issue, or moment is of that importance so it's asking you to think of long-term happiness okay sometimes this warrants change or even temporary restrictions in short term if you can't see how the present can possibly become what you sense the future to be this message is especially relevant so okay so this is actually geared towards more powerful manifestation. Think of yourself not just in the present, but use the tools in the present to make way for a better tomorrow, right? So, so definitely want to live in the present, but want to use the tools to make yourself happy, right? For long term, not just short term. You don't want to live today just for today. You want to live today and also make the way also for tomorrow. Yeah, that's why they make 401ks and stuff like that, right? I mean, they don't make those so that you can be rich today. It's to help you when you, you know, when you're older. So you want to think the same terms. So it makes me feel like a lot of you are, learn are living just only for today. Um, and then expecting things to be great tomorrow. So we'll say, um, for instance, we'll say, today, I'm doing what I'm doing today. And then all of a sudden October comes and you're saying, well, I have nothing. I have nothing, right? I have no savings. I have nothing because I only live day by day. Okay. So it's telling you don't just live for today. When you're manifest, when you're manifesting, make sure that you're manifesting for the long term, not just the short term. Right, and it's going to make you feel better, so that way you won't run into these these obstacles and challenges. Right. 
So also she feels she knows. So how is it that you feel and you know? With sitting over here next to the dark wound, let your love live. I'm going to tell you right now. <clears throat> Most of you are holding a grudge. Why? Because you're not only just living maybe short term. It's like two in one card is what it feels like to me. You can't live for the long run. Because you can't, you know, it's almost like you're just, like I said, living day by day. And you need to release the dark wound to let love live. Okay, so also by doing so, you're going to release the negative energies of just living day by day. Okay, but there's a two-in-one here, like I said, and I, I feel this two-in-one. There's another message here also. The, also, the message is, is that you're living for the grudge of today, and you won't release the wound of yesterday. So, therefore, you can't get to tomorrow. Okay. And I really feel like that is probably the one why Spirit has brought us together is because you're holding on to something that hurts. It's a pain. It doesn't let you move forward in time. So you're living day by day. Look at the, look at the dark bags underneath her eyes. You're holding on to something that's not allowing you to love to live. You're not really living. You're holding on to something that you need to release. Some kind of wound and as we talk about wounds, I'm not talking about losing someone um, to death or anything like that. Those wounds don't go away, guys. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about grudges. They stab me in the back. I can never forgive them. I hate him because he cheated on me. Those things need to go away, right? So we can move forward within our life. I'm talking about the small things. Sometimes it's the smaller things in life that actually hold us back more than the big ones. Because you can say things like, um, for instance, I'm going to use my own. Um, let's see. When my dad died, like six years ago or something, okay, it was like, yes, it hurt so bad. But you have to move forward. And I knew that when I moved forward, I was making him happy. So a lot of people take those types of things. I'm doing this for you because I know this would make you so happy. So sometimes those are things that are more encouraging. But these things, these things, this dying fish, this dying fish is something that's actually killing you within the inside. Holding onto a grudge and not being able to forgive somebody who stabbed you in the back. I had a friend once stab me in the back. I held onto it for about two years. And then finally I just let it go. And I said, you know what? I don't care. Bless you. I hope you have a great life. Just stay away from me. They even tried to come back and try to befriend me again and ask me if I was still being a jackass. Yeah, that's how nice this person was, right? Are we going to be friends now? Are you, are you, you know, done being a jackass? Me being a jackass? You're the one that hurt me. But I finally let it go. I actually just deleted the comment on Facebook, didn't say nothing about it. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to release the dead fish because, you know what, the more... They keep doing that the more I keep like, you know what, you're a this and you're a that. And it just seems like I was always talking about it. You know, you can see it as gossip. You can see it this way. And it's not even talking to other people so much about it. It's just talking in myself, right? Oh, I can't stand you. I can't believe you do this. And it's actually just this negative energy that's surrounding me. And it's just drowning me, right? <clears throat> and so finally, I just let it go. And I literally felt like this. Now, I didn't feel like this exactly at the moment. I didn't feel that free in the, you know, in the immediate time. This is into the world, out of the world. I didn't feel like that immediately, right? It's just one day I kind of woke up and I was just like, free to be me. I don't, you know, I'm not carrying that weight anymore. And I just knew that as soon as I had said that, you know, and then somebody said, well, you aren't talking about that person much anymore. And I thought, you know what, just bless them and I forgive them and I just want to be free. And I've felt better about it ever since. I don't even talk about it anymore. Right? Except for if I'm using an example. <laughs> when I use an example. But the good thing is, is now I can use it as an example and not have those negative feelings towards it. Right? So now I can use that. 
that energy towards you guys and say, hey, you know what? I learned this. I learned this. And now I can say it and not feel like I have to go on, you know, to you guys and sit over here and say, oh, because they were this and that. No, I don't have any of that. I feel free. I feel free. Like I can use it as a stepping tool of saying, you know what? And I'm not going to deal with this type of energy ever again. I learned a lesson. So I have to say that this person was a karmic soulmate uh, for a lesson learned. I actually learned something about it. I learned to release knowing that those people are just weighing me down. And this is exactly how you feel about this person. So I don't really think it was, you know, I think it is number one as well, but I think it's maybe one and two for both of you. Right? I think it's one and two. I think there's two messages in this, but I really have to go with the second one. You know, the book says this, and but I'm really going with my own intuition and I'm going, you know what? Yeah, I think that that is true. You do need to live for tomorrow, but I think by releasing this dead fish, this is going to bring you into tomorrow so you're not living in today with this energy. And then saying, well, in October, am I still going to be feeling this way? No, you're going to release that. <clears throat> but also remember, too, I do think that no matter what, the book is helpful because I do think that we really do need to live for the long term. Right. Make sure that we have what we have and try to make sure that we're getting there. Okay. But I think I, I'm really going with the second scenario here, guys. Okay. The book can say what it wants, but my intuition's on key and I just know that this is the one. Getting the card out. Yeah. It's not bringing any satisfaction and it's not over. It's not giving you any fulfillment of wishes. It's not doing anything because what it's actually doing is it's separating you from the way you should feel and the way you should know things. So it's almost like you should, I think you should be learning something from this. I'm going, I, like I said, I'm going with the second scenario. Uh, for those of you who say, no, I think it's the first scenario, then I'll kind of do both. The video is not supposed to be very long, but we'll try to get both. So if you are going with the first scenario of, you know, my money is not there. How am I going to learn? You know, I don't have a 401k. How am I going to do this? Um, you're going to have to really dig deep within yourself and say, I can't just live for today. I have to actually live for today and tomorrow and release yesterday's, you know, BS because yesterday's BS is what's holding me back from today. So, Okay, and that goes for both of you, right? For both scenarios. Okay, so going back over here to release the dark wound and let that love live. Um, that love live was loving your own life and allowing yourself to live free. Free. Yeah, no anxieties. Look at this. You're sitting in anxieties. When you hold on to this dead fish, you're sitting with anxieties. You're sitting knowing. Okay. Knowing what you're doing. You want to let go to the of the fish so that you can become the queen of pentacles. Feeling more prosperous, getting things done, living for tomorrow, knowing that um, maybe even over here, you know, with this, you can trust people a little bit more, right? Because I know in my own scenario, um, I was actually having a hard time trusting people because when I got ten of sworded, it felt like ten of swords and three of swords, guys. It hurt bad. Okay, so, you know, and I did. I did. I kind of hid out from the world a little bit. I even told my husband, you know, I don't want any more friends. Friends hurt you. You know, I'll just keep the friends I, I have, you know. My whole two friends, I'm not getting any more. <laughs> you know, I don't need anybody else. Okay, because those two, I know for a fact, are not going to hurt me because I've known them forever, right? You know, and people are like, go out and meet people. Why? So they can tend toward me. And that's the the feelings I was, you know, using. And so it's telling me I wasn't living. I was just living in this pain and this remembrance of what somebody had done. So now you get to free yourself. And if it's going even with the first scenario, it says that's fine because you're going to feel more emotionally balanced. So it's actually going to work on both scenarios, one and two. So you can have that short term, you know, don't live for the short term, live for tomorrow. Um, with the first scenario, so you can become more prosperous. 
I think with the dead fish for the first scenario really fast, guys, is letting go of the dead fish that tells you you cannot live for tomorrow. That's really what I'm feeling on that one. Okay. And it's telling you, no, you're going to free yourself of that energy. And for scenario one and two, you're going to become the king of pinnacles. You're going to feel emotionally tied to the sea, feeling like that Scorpio that you are, um, really riding the waves on top of the waves, right? Not feeling like you have to go under because see, she's coming up out of the water. You don't have to be under the water anymore, right? You're going to feel successful and really understanding and perceiving what is going on around you. Yes, it's going to be a slow moving process. You're going to have, um, you know, it's not going to move super, super fast, but that's because you have a healing and you have all this stuff to do. And you might even have, you know, if you're like, yeah, you know, maybe I should save money. It's going to take time to save money, right? However it is, you guys. Okay, so then you have the Nine of Cups. You're going to get that Nine of Cups. You're going to feel this satisfactory because as soon as you feel like you came out of this water and into a new world by knowing what you have, by releasing this dead fish of whatever it is, whatever energy it is, and knowing let's not just hold on to today. Let's get free for tomorrow. I like that one better. That one goes on both scenarios. Okay, so you can do some meditating and just really get deep within yourself and start really feeling like, wow, I'm going somewhere now, right? And that was a small message for you. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.